In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how you can play the chords to Django Reinhardt's classic minor swing in three different ways. We're gonna go from complete beginner to the standard way in which this tune is played, intermediate, all the way to advanced, which teaches you some cool reharmonizations on this standard. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, this is Jamie Allroyd helping you learn jazz guitar. Welcome to the channel. Minor swing is probably the most commonly played standard at gypsy jam sessions. I think it's a great standard to play on and comp over. There's a variety of different ways in which you can play this chord progression, so I'm going to be starting with a really easy version that you could probably play if you've only been playing guitar for six months and take it all the way up to an advanced version. Let's get into it. Just before we get started, I'd like to tell you about a free beginner jazz guitar ebook that you can download. If you'd like to get a copy of this, then please enter your email address in the link below. It's a downloadable 62 page PDF, which is completely free. It contains an abundance of tunes, licks and chords, all geared to those of you that are new to your jazz guitar journey. So if you'd like to grab a copy of that, then please subscribe using the form below. The first version of Minor Swing uses three open position chords. We've got an open position A minor cowboy chord, a D minor triad. This is usually played like this, but I like to get the third and move that to the D string for a cleaner sound. And the last chord is an E7. I only like to strum strings five to two here. I find that all six strings gets a little bit too jangly for gypsy jazz purposes anyway. Rhythm wise, I'm holding the plectrum at a sideways angle to get more of a brushed sound against the strings. I'm backing the volume down and I like to keep reapplying my fingers to the guitar to get a more percussive sound like this. That's the first example. Let's look at the intermediate way of playing minor swing. We've now gone from three chords to four chords. These chords are used by most jazz guitar players when they play this tune, and this is the most commonly accepted version of the chords that you'll find musicians use when they play this song at jam session and on gigs. We now start with an A minor six chord. We then go to a D minor six. You can play this as a three note chord, like so or you can play it as a four note chord like this. This has a B natural in the bass, but that's okay. You still get the sound of one. It's a chord four. From that, we go to B minor seven. I'm playing this as a three string chord. I'm sure most of you probably play it like this, where you've got root seven and three. From there, we go into a three note E seven chord. And then we're coming back to the A minor six. So the first half of the tune, we've got A minor six, D minor six, B minor seven, E seven, A minor six. After this, the tune basically reverses itself so that you start with a minor six, this time a D minor six, and then we go to an A minor six. The last part of the tune is exactly the same as the first part. We've got two, five, one, back into A minor. So the second half of the tune, D minor six, A minor six, two, five, one. And then the tune just keeps repeating.
The third example is the most advanced of the three. We start with an A minor 6 chord, then we go to a B minor 6 chord, then we've got a C major 6 chord, a C sharp diminished chord, which is really just an A7, and that takes us to D minor 6 still in bar number 3. That's what we have even in the simplest version. So all we're doing here is a walk up. A minor 6, B minor 6, C6, C sharp diminished 7, and we still arrive at the same place in bar number 3. So. From there, we just stay in the D minor 6 for two bars, and we have the same 2 5 1 movement again. However, what's changed here is after the 1 chord, we have 5 of chord 4. Chord 4 in the key of A minor is D minor, and we go to that in the second part of the tune. To set that up, I play an A7 after the 2 5 1. So on the second line of the chord changes, we've got 2, 5, 1. And then we're into D minor. Now, originally we just had a D minor 6 there for two bars and an A minor 6. What I've done here is I've gone to a D minor 7 with the fifth in the bass, and I've taken that to a G7. And where does G7 want to go? To C major 7. So I've put a 2 5 1 here. So 2 5 1. And then I move this up to F as well, so I've got a 4 chord there, and that sets me up nicely to where I want to be, which is back to a 2 5 1 in the tonic minor. So the second half of the tune goes 2, 5, 1, 4, 2, 5, 1. So that concludes our minor swing chord lesson. I hope that you found it useful. Beyond this, I would really recommend that you take these concepts to other jazz standards. Minor swing is a free chord tune, and I've added more passing chords to this. You could do this with any tune that's got one key center, such as impressions to maybe two key centers or three key centers. These techniques are really versatile and really fun to use, both in terms of soloing and comping.